friends, I'm Becca and I'm doing the Cramathon. I'm so excited. I haven't done a readathon since Booktubeathon, which was months ago, and now I have the time to do that, and that is really, really exciting for me. So I've never done a Cramathon before, and this one is from December 16th through the 23rd. And there's a lot of different challenges. I'm probably only going to try to do a couple of them. I have seven books picked out because one of the challenges is to read a total of seven books. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'm definitely going to try. I want to say that it's hosted by Witty Novels, but that could be wrong. I watched so many TBR videos and I could not find anyone saying who the host was. So, that is what's happening with that. The first challenge is to read a book that is under 200 pages. I originally didn't think that I was going to be able to do this one, but I found one and it is this Giants and Ogres Fairy Tale Villains Reimagined book that I got at BookCon and it's a bunch of short stories that kind of do a different spin on you know like ogres and giants and the classic fairy tale villains. I'm really interested to see what these stories are all about and I'm sure I'll be able to do it in one sitting because look how thin that baby is. The next challenge is to read two books in 24 hours and I don't think I'll have a problem doing that. I don't have any specific ones picked out for that challenge but I know I'll be able to do it. The next challenge is to read a book set in a different country than where you live. So I decided enough is enough. I'm finally going to freaking sit down and read Shadow of Night by Deborah Harkness, the second book in the All Souls trilogy. This book takes place technically in England. So that's all I'm going to say about that one. It's a different country. It's also a different time period, but you know. Challenge number four is to read a book that you've been putting off for a while or been meaning to read for a while. I obviously could read and use Shadow of Night for that, but instead I decided to give myself a challenge because my goal is to have this one read by the end of the year, and it is... A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass, the second book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series, or whatever the heck the series is going to be called. Yeah, that's right, I still haven't read it. And I need to. So I'm gonna. This book is massive, so I'm definitely not going to try to read it all in one sitting, but hopefully, hopefully. I'll be able to get through it at least this week. And the next two challenges are read a book with pictures and read a graphic novel and I'm not doing either of those. And the final challenge is to read seven books. So I'll talk about the rest of the books that I have planned. I've really been wanting to read Highly Illogical Behavior by John Corey Whaley. It's about topics I'm interested in like agoraphobia and social anxiety. So I really want to read this one. So I'm gonna. The next one is a cozy mystery I've been talking about quite a lot and it's Geared for the Grave by Duffy Brown. This book is set in Mackinac Island which is one of my favorite places to go ever and there's cats, there's mystery, there's fudge, I don't know. I also recently got this really cool book but instead of reading that it made me want to read Jacoby by William Ritter. This is my signed copy. I got at BookCon, which is pretty cool. I just haven't read it yet, and I'm really interested in it. I have the first book and the third book, but not the second one. Anyway, so yeah, I think I will try to pick up Jacoby and see how I do with this one. And finally, I am going to be attempting to read Infinity by Jess Accardo. This was sent to me by Entangled Teen, and I haven't read it yet. So I am really interested to read it. It seems like it has to do with time travel and stuff like that. It should be interesting. And Tangle Teen has been sending me some really freaking amazing books lately. 
So thank you, Entangled Teen. And also, sorry I haven't read this one yet. And that's it. Those are all the books that I am going to be trying to read for the Cramathon. Let me know down below in the comments if you're doing the Cramathon and what books you're wanting to read for it. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below to see more bookish videos. That's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you tomorrow.